Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ozzie Albert, the supervisor of the town of Fishville. Welcome to this fabulous day and this dedication uh, to the Rec Senior Center to Supervisor Joan Pagonis. And uh, we'd like to start with uh, the Pledge of Allegiance. The flag is right here. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is, is a great day for the residents and the supervisor who built this facility. I spent a long time thinking about what I would write and say, and uh, the bottom line is that this building, this rec center, this senior center, would not be here for Supervisor John Pagadas, if she was not the supervisor. <laughs> She had the vision to do this, and uh, she got it done. I can tell you for a fact that every resident that participates, whether it's a, uh, a family that brings their kid to play basketball, summer camp, or a senior that comes on a trip, or plays bingo, they, they value this as an integral part of their life. It's, it's, it's becoming the fabric of our society, and it's, our, it's the envy of the rec centers in the entire Hudson Valley. And uh, again, if it wasn't for her, this would not have happened, because I'll tell you the truth, her predecessor would not have built it, and I doubt I would have built it. So if it wasn't for her, this would not be here today. Uh, before we go further, does anybody wish to speak today? Raise your hand. You, you, you. So we'll start with Councilman Rye first, and then Councilman Titino, and then Mr. Jeff Law. Just a couple of minutes. Um, I remember coming to uh, Fishkill quite a number of years ago, moving here, and you were the boss. And I remember coming to board members, and I remember uh, your, your steadfast loyalty to this town, um, your dedication to it, and um, I know that the town has gone up and down and up and down on a number of different issues, but we reach a point in our lives where we look back and we realize, as today, uh, the great things that are accomplished, the good things that are accomplished, and the things that live on. And this building does live on. It has... I, how many thousands of people, kids, come through here on a annual basis? I don't have a number off the top of my head, but a lot. Yeah, but it, it but it's it's the ripple effect. It's their families. It's the grandparents that come here. Watch the kids and the seniors that come here. As a senior, I come here. Uh, so I just uh, also congratulate you, and I'm I'm glad to be here today to honor you and dedicate the building. Thank you, Councilor Tatino. <laughs> Uh, I don't wish to say what's already been said, but just to, to add a couple thoughts of my own. Um, as a relatively young person uh, in government, I have a unique perspective because I really don't remember a town of Fishkill without Joan Pagonis. Um, I grew up, came of age during her administration, and as someone who started going to town camps when I was five years old, and I met our town clerk while she was there, um, I know the importance of recreation, I know the importance of outdoor and indoor community space building and opportunity for children, families, and seniors to get together, to enjoy activities, and to, to grow closer as a community. The value of a community recreation center is really incalculable. You measure it in quality of life. And as someone who's new to government in terms of being an elected official, but who is not new to public service, I recognize that at the end of the day, our legacy as leaders is not in what we say or how we say it. It's in what we do and what we leave behind. And the legacy of Supervisor Pagonis can be measured in the lives that are touched and improved by a facility like this. So thank you for your vision and, and stick to in getting this done. And just a, a welcome and a continued invitation to the families of Fishkill from 1 to 101. Come down to the rec center. It is a marvelous place to spend time. Here, here. Thank you. These are our friends from labor. Mr. Jeff Lawton, Mr. Stoddard. Mr. Cook. Yeah, we've Mr. got Mr. Cook from Putnam. All right. Matt's from Dutchess. I'm in Westchester, president of Building Trades. There's not enough time to say what we can about this wonderful woman. Uh, her door was always open to organized labor. I mean, what she did in town law, apprenticeship law language, um, the GAP, PLA at the GAP, over 600 people employed there. We don't have enough time to discuss all, all the good things she did, did for labor 
and I'm sure in her heart she still has labor in her heart. She did know and she admitted that cheap labor is not skilled and skilled labor is not cheap. So for all of you in the room, I want you to remember that. It's not that unions are thugs and, you know, we do get paid money, but we're the best part-time workforce in the country, right? Because we don't work every day. And when we don't work, we don't get paid. So on behalf of organized labor, um, former town supervisor Joan, I just want to present you with that and let you know what you meant to organized labor. And this gentleman right here is following in your footsteps, and I thank you for that, Austin. Thank you. And these gentlemen are right about labor. Uh, as supervisor for the last five years, I can tell you the projects are done without were done without labor, are the projects that the residents come to me and complain about, uh, and then we have to fix later. Would anybody else like to say any words? Okay. With further ado, Supervisor Joan Pagonis. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor Abra and town board members for this honor. I am so full of gratitude for this touching tribute. I feel blessed to have had the privilege and honor to serve our town for 26 years. First, as a councilwoman for six, and a supervisor for 20. A shout out to my husband, Jim, for your support and love over all these years of your service. <laughs> <laughs> and to our son, Jordan and Julia as well. My two little granddaughters are here today, Madison and Stella. And I'm so happy to have them here. As those of us who served and continue to serve today in public service, when you serve, your family life adjusts to those responsibilities. In our household, service was twofold as Jim served as a New York State judge for 26 years. So I say thank you to my loved ones for their sacrifice so I could serve. Public service must be genetic since our son serves in the military and our daughter serves in government. Also, a thank you to my longtime assistant, Pam Garnett, who is here today. Hi, Pam served beside me, and I'm so grateful for your service. Another longtime public servant is here today, a good friend of ours, Scott Beers. Scott, your dedication to our police department was second to none. Because of your legwork and your study, the police building next door was possible. Scott spent months at our direction studying successful police buildings around the state. Thank you for that. I have often thought and have remarked that in order to know where you're going, you have to know where you've been. So when I was elected to the town board in 1986, Plans were already in motion to build the new town hall. And the new town hall, for those who are not part of the town of Fishkill and visiting, uh, is the first building on 52. Prior to the construction, the town hall was located in the village of Fishkill. And now it houses the Beast Restaurant. So if you've gone wow. through the village, you know that was our town hall. And it was so small that the town held its meetings in court at the old St. Mary's Church on Bedford Avenue, right around the corner. So you'd have, you know, uh, Judge Hancock going into the men's room to arraign people if a, if a meeting was going on. And, you know, this is our history. This is what we, you know, have to remember. The police department had its headquarters on Wood Street in the village, and it was in a garage. Uh, recreation had no home at all. What happened, though, with the town hall was you have to have the vision to know what would come. Uh, the police department was not prepared for, and neither was recreation. But eventually, as an afterthought, the police moved into the basement. Some of you may remember that. And the senior center moved into the basement, but not recreation programs. 
So the only recreation programs we had were at the camps in the summer and maybe at other schools. So there, there's a little history for you. But vision is so important. For those who lead government, it is essential. In fact, scripture tells us where there is no vision, the people perish. So one person's vision is not enough. I had the support of a town board which shared the vision of creating a campus setting and building on the first step, which we had as a new town hall. The police facility, the 9-11 monument, the Veterans Park located in back, and this rec building are structures we can be proud of and are the envy of towns in our county and beyond. Thank you, former town board members, Dennis Sack and Hal Brilliant, they're here today, the late Steve Ferguson, and Councilwoman Heather Malvarosa. Thank you for your service and your vision while you served, because when you did, these buildings were being discussed and, and they were built. I commend Supervisor Abra for his vision and the town board for recognizing that vision in the endeavors you've already undertaken. The Ninnam statue, lights at Shepherd Park, hometown hero signs, the soon to come Bailey sword, and the commemorative coin for the 2026 plans to celebrate the anniversary of our country, of our independence. All of these accomplishments and much more serve as a reminder to our residents and visitors alike that Fishkill is a town whose vibrance lives. Dedications of buildings, parks, roads, prompt residents and tourists to ask, who were these people? Simply answer, they made a difference in their town and we remember them. So in closing, I'm humbled by your gesture. May God bless all of you and may he continue to bless the great town of Fishkill. Thank you. On this side, we're gonna pop oh. this guy up, oh. and this will be the plaque. Grab that side. We're gonna go up. Wow. Oh. Nice. There you go. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Can you bring the girls up? Yeah, bring them up. Yeah. Come on, get your family. Yes, yes, Joe. Look at these cute girls. Hi, Stella B.